My name is Matt Roloff. Music scene at the age of 13. Singing her smash hit, Delta Dawn. And went on to sign the biggest record contract in country music history. She grew up to be the bad girl of country music. Still, fans couldn't get enough. 40 albums, 29 top 10, the nine number one hits. A country music legend and... Mom. Mama. Mom. A single mom. Layla says hi. Hi. I think it's hard for any mother to juggle the career and the kids. Uh, uh, she could have had nannies. I didn't say you were wrong all the time. You're dead wrong now. She could have sent them to boarding school. Uh, and some days... Well, I'm upset because this is supposed to be just us. She wishes there were two of her. Uh, be quiet. Just your average single mom. Did you get my gun out of the car? With three well-adjusted kids. Always trust your mother. Welcome to Tuckerville. Number one. Always number one. Being a single mom could be difficult. I'm doing the best I can here. As hard as it is, I wouldn't have it any other way. parent, the most important thing I give my children is guidance. The biggest influence on my life and success was my, my dad, Bo Tucker. At a very early age, he saw in me what I see in Layla. <laughs> Layla is a little red-headed spitfire and has an amazing voice for a six-year-old. Being on me, one on after all. Now's the time for me to help her discover her talents and give her all the guidance I can, and I intend to do so. Blue skies are blanketing Tuckerville, and Presley and her brother Grayson are out making the most of this gorgeous day. Inside, Layla and her friend Kelsey are giving themselves a makeover. I was in my mom's bathroom putting all makeup. I like the lipstick a lot. Mama! <laughs> what are y'all doing? Nothing. You're playing in makeup? Mm -hmm. Wow. You got them pretty red lips on. Look how cute she look. You ever thought about being in a beauty pageant, beauty contest? Uh, yeah. When I saw them in the makeup, I had this ingenious idea to put Layla in a, one of the beauty pageants. I thought that it'd give Layla confidence. My sister's daughter, Callie, she's been in a lot of pageants. She's won some, a lot of them too. I think it would be fun. But let's get a hold of Callie and see if we can't set something up, okay? Okay, let's go. Okay. And Layla, you really shouldn't use that red lipstick. It's a little dark for you. Maybe a little something in pink. Later that night, cousin Callie arrives to give Layla some pointers on pageants. Hey, I'm here. Well, uh, what do you think about us putting her in a beauty pageant? It's the best idea you've thought of, because when I was doing it, it just, you know, brought out the best in me. I started when I was probably about 12. I, I won Miss Tennessee Teen All-American, and then I went to Nationals, and I won Miss Teen All-American. They are pretty there. Oh, wait. Hey. Do you want to go take a photo session like that? Yeah, you need to go get one done. Get some pictures taken? We're pretty? Yeah, a pageant would be really fun, especially when you put on dresses. I think the categories in there, there's formal wear, and then there's interview, which is one of my stronger points when I was competing, interview, I'll work with her on it. I thought I should leave the hair and makeup to Callie because last time I did hair and makeup on one of my kids, it was Presley, and, well, she looked like a hooker when I got done with her. Hey, uh, what else? Talent. Talent? <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. I'll take it. Layla's talent, of course, would be singing. Now, what song would you like to sing? Lean on me. Lean on me would be my favorite song. You could do kind of a jazz thing with her, you know, Lean on me, you know, yeah. and then go Lean into, and then go, bop, 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 lean on me, 
Well, you know, not curl, yeah. almost like a gospel type, type of thing. And then so, just... so you split it, kind of. Yeah. When I was nine years old, I made a commitment to be a singer. It's very important for her to make a decision and stick with it and learn how to do that really, really very early. Were you ready? Yeah. Oh, so you ready to, to, to be the winner? Yeah. We ain't got much time, so we've got to start working. we got to get to work soon. Thank me when you win. Thanks, honey. <laughs> All right, I can tell this is going to be a challenge. The next day, everyone's busy doing their usual morning drill. Except for Tanya, who wants nothing to do with drills. Kurt is taking her back to the dentist. What is it you're having done today? I'm having done uh, a root canal. Ooh. Well, I put off this procedure for uh, too long. A few weeks ago, I had to do a concert with Tim McGraw. I think Tim is going to want me to sing tonight. You might need a root canal. Can't, can it wait? I couldn't do the show and have a root canal too, so I put it off. This is what we can do. Um, give you some antibiotics, get you through today. And now I've got to go to the dentist and make sure I get it, get it taken care of. It's not fun, but so I gotta do it. Thanks, so what do they do? Do they have to like push you under and then you do a root canal or is there? Sort of, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Looks the same as I stepped up to the pain. I, I'm not crazy about dentists. I've just never, I've had a lot of bad experiences in, with dentists and even with my own dentist who is really great. He's very good. He knows me and he knows I don't like him. <laughs> I definitely make it worse than, than what it really is. You ready for I have to have the gas to, to help me relax. Then they give me the shots. Sleepy, sleepy, huh? Yeah. Even as much as I know he's not going to hurt me, I still am very afraid. Doc. Yes. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to do our Well, I w yeah, we were going to do our root canal, but I just wanted to come back. Well, today's the day for the root canal. Well, no, I, Doc, it's not a good time to do this right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Girl. I can't handle it. Tell me when you're in. Doc, Doc, if you hurt me, I swear to God, I'm hurt. It's yeah, I know you're going to kill me. And I know you're going to hurt me, though. You're going to hurt me. You're going to be super. Yo, know, keep playing some music. I hear some music. Da, 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 da. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Keep saying. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Rotary file, drill out the old disease nerve. I don't think I can watch any kind of like operation, kind of anything like that. I think okay, I'm gonna... you can. See you. you can go. That's it. Well, I just couldn't handle Tanya and all the pain she was going through, so I thought I'd go distract myself. I find this door. And I go in, it turns out it's a doctor's private office. Uh, a couple of horses. Uh, 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 this probably gets you an Emmy Award, you know that. It hurts right there, right there. I thought I'd put his coat on to see if, you know, I could do this kind of thing on a daily basis. You know what? Here's my chance. That could be a dentist just like my sister. Dr. Kurt, room 308. Dr. Kurt, it's time to operate. No, sometimes I just like to slide off into my own little world. I feel like a chef. Or a doctor. Uh, it's Kurt's wild world. <laughs> All right, see what it looks like is you ain't brushing damn teeth in about three months. Ah. In the dentist chair, I have been known to punch yeah, <laughs> the dentist out. I would slap him. Uh, Lord knows what I say. Everything is a real drama during dental work on Kenya. It always has been, but she's improved, believe it or not. She has significantly improved. I mean, people call me a dreamer, but uh, if everybody could be inside my head, nobody would ever be unhappy. Okay. Reporting for the weather story. <laughs> A new hairstyle. Huh. All right. So, 
this is... So from what we've learned hey, here today... what are you doing back here? You're not supposed to be back here. I was, I was just learning. I was just playing. You need to get back out front. Can I keep the mask? Yeah. Well, Tanya, we finished today. Do you have any questions about what, what we've done? No. Open up, Tanya. Okay. Give it to me, buddy. So you should be in good shape. After the dental assistant threw me out of the room, I finally made it back to Tanya's room. Hey. How you feeling? Okay. She was real groggy. All done? All done. Here's my impression of uh, when your face is done. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I got a new kind of drug or something. <laughs> must be a mixture. They gave me some medication to help my nerves. I don't remember much after that. <laughs> That's the way I like it. Wish it would work on some ex-boyfriends. Later that afternoon, Tanya enjoys a post-op medicated bliss. While downstairs, ex-beauty queen Callie kicks off the first lesson for Layla's upcoming beauty pageant. Let your hands drop. Then you're gonna walk and look real pretty. Nope, no, you don't turn around. This is, this is the, <laughs> the judges are right here. The judges are right, you gotta keep your hands. <laughs> Okay. I was trying to teach her how to stand. There are certain X's and certain marks that she will have to hit on stage. Walk, real cute. I mean, give me some attitude, you know. Oh, that's no way to walk. You don't have to put one foot in front of the other like that. Oh, Lordy. I know how to walk. Let's practice this one more time before we go any further, because I want you to get this down, okay? First, I thought it was fun, but then I was like, boring. <laughs> You're lunging. Can we just try that one more time for me? And then we'll move on to the fun stuff. Hmm. Layla is killing me. She's got the attention span of a gnat. She's just all over the place. It was just kind of hard to lock her down and keep her in one place at one time. Please, if this is what six-year-olds are like, I don't think I'm going to have kids. Oh, my God. One more time is all I'm asking. I don't know what the big deal is. Layla, watch. And then you're going to do the same thing. I don't thing. really want to be a beauty patch. <sighs> I thought I was going to kill her. You can't do this to me, Layla. I can't handle it. I'm getting more and more nervous about letting everybody down, and I just, I want Layla to do so good. I want Tanya to be proud of her and, and proud of me. Layla! Come on, babe. This is terrible for my reputation as a title holder. Callie's getting really mad, and I thought that I should try a little more. I want you to walk the stage one time for me. Please, I'll give you a really cool surprise right after you do it. Immediately after you do it, I'll give you a surprise. And it won't be a popsicle, it'll be something really cool. I had to resort to bribing a six-year-old. Good. Okay, let's try it. But it worked. All right, you ready? Okay. Okay, this time I'm going to do it. Turn. Good girl. Keep smiling. Okay, that's, that's good. Okay, now stop. Position. Hands on the hips. And then you're going to turn. Okay, you're, you're almost done. You're almost done. And then you're going to get your surprise. I swear. And then turn. And then you're going to walk off stage and then down the stairs. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> See? That's totally easy. You could totally do this, Layla. Okay, you ready? Ta-da! See, you get rewarded when you do good. That's just a tiny reward of what you'll get if you do the pageant, you know? Ice cream was really good, but practicing was boring. I'm going to come over tomorrow and, and work with you some more, okay? Good job. Good work today. One more high five. This Trading Spaces moment on the bench is brought to you by ING. After securing a mortgage. It's early morning, and Callie waits to begin another beauty pageant rehearsal with Layla. But Layla has something to tell her. I didn't want to be in the pageant. I really don't like that practicing. I hope you, Callie, don't get mad at me. Hey, what's this? Layla, come here. Do not want to do the pageant. Layla, why not? Wait, boring. You were doing so good. Why do you want to quit? Go off to be in a beauty pageant anyway. There's nothing I could say to make you change your mind? Don't ask me again, though. If you ever want to do a pageant, I'm not training you. Mm-mm. You know, Tanya has entrusted me to support and nurture Layla's talent. 
If Layla doesn't do this, I I'm afraid that Tane is going to kill me. Oh, my gosh. All right. Don't be sad. Later that afternoon, Callie makes a last-ditch effort to get Layla to do the pageant by setting up a dress rehearsal with Tanya. You look so beautiful. By putting Layla in the dress, I, hope, I was hoping it would make her more enthusiastic about doing the pageant, get her excited, make her feel really pretty about herself, and, uh, you know, to save my butt with my aunt. You're going to wait at the top of the stairs, and I'm going to announce you. And you're going to walk down the stairs, very, very graceful-like, and then you're going to sing your song, okay? I like wearing the dress, and I like the dress. I like... Everything about the dress. She's got a dress on. She looks great. Oh, really? Okay, I'm going to introduce her. Callie and Layla had been working together, so I wanted to see uh, what they'd accomplished. And if she does it to the best of her ability, I think she'll win. Here comes Miss Little Miss America, Layla Lux. Yay! Oh, that's beautiful. Da, 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 da. <laughs> now, put your dress down when you're oh, walking. Oh, you look so pretty. Go ahead and walk. Yeah. put your dress down. When she you come down the stairs, you put your dress down and you walk, okay? Yeah. So walk well, over there. Show me how you're going to do. Just pick up one side of your dress. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's very pretty. Okay. So, Layla, why do you want to be Miss Junior Miss America? Why does my mom watch me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, no, wrong answer. That's this is what you want to say. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. You want to say, because I want to be a, a role model. You say that? I did not want to be a role model. What is your favorite color, Layla, and why? Don't don't shake. Be still. What's your favorite animal? You know, be, be real honest with people and tell them how you feel. They need to get it through their heads. I don't want to be in pageant at all. Right. Can I go change? We would love to hear you sing and do your talent. I would love to. Uh, no. Uh, would you please stand up and let us hear your song? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Not turn. Tell me. Red. Okay, that's okay. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, no. There we go. Okay. We'll move that out of the way. Oh, right, Callie. I don't want to do all the time. Act like we're in the car. Yeah. Act like me, it's just me and you. Don't, don't don't put everybody out of your mind. Nobody else is here. There you go. Now, stand over there. Up. Stand over there and with confidence. I want you to sing it out like you've never sung before. That's right, Layla. Yeah. No. I didn't want to be in a pageant with a lot of people around you. So I decided to quit. TLC Mondays. Help me. <laughs> Layla has just quit the beauty pageant for good. And now Tanya must decide what to do next. Yeah, she, she's got it. She just, uh... She got it. She's so flawless. I am disappointed in Layla because I, I want her to make a decision and stick with it. Yeah, she's just got to build up that confidence. She will, though, the more she's around. She's got to practice and practice like and I be, do. And so. do it, and do she it. Do it. I try to practice She says she's going to do something, she do it. Mm. I'll tell you what, that's the only way they're going to have any kind of That's the only experience. way I ever got out my mom pushing me and saying, now, My dad know. told me, get on top of that bar and sing. That's you right. Know? And I didn't say, no, I don't want to do right now. Yeah. You know, I did it. I was really upset about, you know, maybe having to disappoint Tanya. I was kind of relieved that she wasn't angry. Well, we all get our little shy, shy moments, but she's really got talent, so it's kind of like a wish. We want everybody to see how great Absolutely. she is. Absolutely, just want to share it with the world. Yeah. Yeah. One day we're going to get to. If a child doesn't want to do something, it's not in their heart, then no, I don't think it's, you should ever, ever force them to do it. I want her to love whatever she does. <laughs> well, good oh. job. You're doing a good job with her. Well. I tried my best. Well, I know you. I appreciate you taking time. Maybe the beauty pageants aren't the way to go, but somehow we need to get this out of her, this talent, whether she dances or in beauty pageants or plays an instrument, I don't know. See you later, alligator. Okay, bye. A few days later, Tanya encourages Layla to sing during a break at her recording session. I thought if I could get her in the studio and get this down, maybe she would, uh, she could hear it in herself, and she'll know she's good. I was so happy when she started singing with me. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm to your Mary. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm to your Mary. Who's that girl with the red song? No. Who's that girl with the red dress on? Come from Cartagena. Stole my heart was from me down in Louisiana. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm to your Mary. Take me back to Tulsa. I'm 
the young Mary. She was clear as a bell, and I was so proud of her. Oh, that's pretty good. You gotta take your time, though. Who's that girl with the Lisa. red dress on? Some Don't folks call her Layla. Hey. <laughs> Stole my heart away from me down in Louisiana. When I grow up, I would like to sing like my mom and with my mom. Lean on me. Born your love to I'll, I'll be your friend. friend. I'll help you carry on. It won't be long. You're gonna need somebody. Just a call, an army brother. One you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. Layla is obviously an awesome little singer. <laughs> it won't be long. You're gonna need somebody to lean on. Lean on me. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Very good. That was a good job, honey. Oh, you need a treat. Oh, I think she's gonna do great things. I think they, they all better watch out. You know, she's just she's got it. It's just a matter of uh, if she wants to use it or not.